Hi, good afternoon all. It's Angela. I'm going to do a resin pour, but I wanted to announce that once I hit my 400 subscribers, I'm going to give away a gift. And that is going to be this one. I hope you like this one. It turned out beautiful. I got to fix the black back a little bit. But this will be the gift for whoever hits the 400 subscriber, meaning I will put the names in the bag and I will choose who's going to be the free giveaway. All right, so put that away for now. I'm going to do a resin pour. And I'm going to try to do a three ring pour. Or it could be swirled. Whatever it becomes, that's what it will become. Okay, so let's give this a shot. And see where I go with this. I never did a three ring pour or swirl, whatever you call it. This is even with uh, resin, but I will try it. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm putting some white first because I want the white to be like the edge, mostly the edge of it. So it's just a little transparent. It's not the right white that I would use. However, I ran out of my white, so I've been using now like a regular acrylic white, and look, it's just, it's just see-through. But you know what, this is going to help the resin kind of slip all over the place, and uh, that's it, let me spread it out a little bit more. thought it was going to be whiter, but that's okay. It's going to help spread the whole resin the way I want it to be. I put this uh, barrette on my hair because I don't want to have any resin on my hair. Yes, it is. Uh, so anyway, I just want to thank all the new subscribers. I got a few. And thanks to Stone Cold, I posted something on their page. They wanted to see the video. I posted the video there. And I got a few subscribers, so thank you so much, Stone Cold Countertop. I owe you a big one. Uh, here we go. I'm sorry I've been away, but some people told me that I should just come in two, two days or three days a week. So that's what I've been doing, giving everyone else a chance to glow. Because maybe I'm taking over t too much. <laughs> maybe I'm on here too much, I don't know. Uh, you try to please people, nobody's ever happy. So you just keep trying to please people anyway. Alright, I'm going to pour now. And hopefully this will turn out to be a nice ring pour. So, uh -huh. look at that. How pretty is that? I don't know that it's going to stay the way a uh, ring pour usually stays, but uh, we shall see. Now all I have to do is spread it out and see what it becomes. Because as I said, I never did a ring pull, you know, with this technique with resin. Uh -huh. Let's put a little bit of more. I wanted to put a little bit of more white in there. Make it a little bit more. Oops, it's going that way. No, no, no. Yeah, I should have put two in here, right? Two would have been nice, no? What do you think, guys? Two? Uh, maybe I should have left it with just gold. The gold was just pretty. Leave it with just the gold. You could always decorate it however you like. I always seem to do that to my three ring paws. I always, I always put my two stick in there. <laughs> but look how pretty the gold is by JR. 
this gold by JR is so beautiful and uh, and it has a little cherry red but you can't really see it that much because the cherry red is kind of disappearing now for what I see mm -hmm. I'm not sure that this was enough resin but uh, we're gonna spread it out mm -hmm. How pretty is that? Uh, the edges, I'm not going to worry too much because I have very little resin on this. And I did put like 17 ounces instead of what it says on the booklet. It says 15 ounces. I guess that's not happening. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. I love it. Love the gold in it. I am sorry that I got to tilt so much, but I have to in order to spread this out. Unless I put some more on the edges here with the, with the black, with some more of this that's left in here. There's a lot left in here that I could just spread it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. That is a beautiful ring pour, I would say. See, I know I could spread it out more, but then I will lose the the uh, actual area of where the bullseye is supposed to be, which is in the middle of the canvas. So I don't want to lose that. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just stretching it out myself here. And uh, you can do that. You can do whatever you like with your resin pour. Okay. Fabuloso. Mm -hmm. So don't kill yourself about the edges so much. Sometimes if you just don't have enough, you just have to make it work somehow. You could always paint the edges once it's all dried up. You could paint the gold to match it. You could paint the black to match it. Whatever color you think would match. And that's the color that you would put into it. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are liking this. I'm really liking these boards. They work for me. I don't know if they work for everyone else, but they are working for me. Yes. This is the burgundy that's supposed to be in there sometime. But I don't see it. It didn't come through the burgundy color. Didn't come through, but I'll put some in here so make it show somewhat. Mm -hmm. It's like it's self leveling, so it'll level. It'll level itself for sure. It's usually how it happens. It levels on its own. You can't try to push something that doesn't want to be pushed to a certain limit. So, that is beautiful. I like how the burgundy look in there with it. Mm -hmm. I don't care too much that the burgundy shows. But, uh, I like the way the gold turned out. So... Let's put some more gold in there and keep the gold going. Because the gold is the beauty of the whole pour, naturally. That's what it looks like to me. The gold is making the stand. The stance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, all the corners are all completely... Uh, present. So I'm going to leave them alone. Mm -hmm. and, uh, wait, 
I'm gonna clean this cup because I gotta use this cup again. And uh, this is some more white. This is clear. I would put some more clear on the edge here because the edges are what usually will bubble up a little bit sometimes and you get bubbled up, you know, the get the dimples on the edges, so that's where you want to put your extra resin in, in the edges. Yeah, you see. Come in. Ha, ah, sometimes you just gotta pick at it with your finger. Okay. Now let me uh, just tilt it a little bit. Sure the cups are all in place. I don't want to move it around too much because I don't really have a lot of resin to go around here. So you don't want to get your edges to not stay together here. You want your edges to stay nice, nicely put. Oh, I got a lot of resin over here. Let me move you back a little bit. I hope you can still see. Yeah, you can see. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of gold back here. Yeesh. Okay. That can only mean one thing, and that's that the table is a little tilted. And that's okay. All right. I'm just gonna give it a a nice uh, blow torch. Well, not blow torch, just a blow gun, which is what I usually use. And I'm not going to throw any alcohol, whatever comes up, as far as uh, cells, it could come up if it wants to. And I see a few already. gonna let it level out on its own it's gonna level out eventually and I'm gonna hit it with the stick a little bit because I see areas where the uh, the is getting dimples and I don't want those dimples so I'm gonna take care of those dimples right now let me put this like this now who says you can't do a ring pour with the resin. <laughs> I would have liked if my uh, my bullseye would have came out better. This, this, this girl I seen the other day, she does the three ring poles and she does them, oh my god, the best I ever seen them. They look like 3D, that's how good they are. She does a magnificent job. And I hope to one day get as good as she is at that. 
that's all you want with your art you just want to perfect it you want to make it better so people will like your art and you will like your art of course see I'm getting uh, a lot of uh, cells all of a sudden out of nowhere but uh, it's okay because it's self leveling you don't see the actual boundaries of uh, Alright guys, I'm going to give you a close-up, and we'll see if you like it or not. You let me know. The only way I find out if I do a good job is you let me know. That's the way it works for me, so I appreciate all the feedback that I get from you guys. Don't think that I don't. Alright, let me bring this down. And thank God I got the smock on. It helps me not to get any of this resin on my clothes. Here you go, guys. Look how pretty is that. Isn't that gorgeous? And that was so pretty. Look at that. The booze eye. Uh, it's actually gold, black, white. Those are the only colors I use. And a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of burgundy you can see it a little bit here the burgundy kind of got lost so i guess you're better off just using maybe three colors you know instead of four five or six colors look at the edges going down you see but i leave the edge alone let it do whatever it wants to do and later i will work at it more Let's put it far apart so that way you can see my equator. It looks like an earth equator. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Here we go. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. I should call it my gold something. I don't know. My gold uh, space something I don't know I'll think of a name you watch all right guys that is it I see you guys have a great weekend this will be it for me and like I said my 400 I mean yeah my 400 subscriber will get that uh, resin pour that I show you earlier and I will pick uh, a name out of so many subscribers. I don't know I'm going to do that, but I'll see. I'll put it all in a bag. So that's what I'll be doing the next few days, trying to figure out who's going to win, more or less. Love you guys. Bye-bye.